Hi, in this video, I am going to talk about Docker Podman and also give you a demo how to install Podman. We all know Docker. Docker is the market leader in the container industry. Uh, Docker has its challenges. Uh, first of all, Docker has many layers in its architecture and also Docker demand is running on a logical port. Look at the diagram. You can see many layers. Docker CLI talks to Docker daemon, Docker daemon, container D, then it talks to run C. Uh, the logical port is a single point of failure. If your Docker, if your Docker daemon at your system fails, all your containers in the host will fail eventually. Uh, that is, that is not good. And uh, again, all Docker operations are running with root today. Uh, even if you look at the Docker Hub, most of the containers having root privilege and uh, that uh, the corporate security don't like that uh, idea in many places. So Podman may be an alternative. Uh, look at the Podman here, podman.io. You can go to the site and uh, read more about it. Uh, in general, Podman is a daemonless container. It is not running on your port. It is just your Linux package sitting at your host uh, that helps you manage running OCI containers on the system. It can run as root and also rootless. Podman directly interacts with run C. Look at the diagram on the right side, you know, Podman talk to containers, images, run C, and also the operating system kernel directly without layers. It also has native integration with the builder, Scorpio and CRIO. In my next video, I'll be going to show demo about build and Scorpio and how that how that work with Podman and we'll also show you the differences. Uh, Podman also give you a small Docker package uh, to execute Docker commands. If you like Docker commands and you can download the package and use it. Let's go to the demo. I have a CentOS 8 VM that is running on uh, Google Cloud. I am the root user now. I put all commands in my notepad to save time of the video. First, let me go and verify the Docker if I have Docker or not. See, I have no Docker here. Next, I go and install Podman. It'll take a minute. Okay, the install is complete. I have to make some modification for the rootless ID. First, I have to increase the username space for the rootless ID. Okay, the namespace increased to 28,000 something. You can use the value that is applicable to your environment. Next, I have to configure the sub uid and sub gid for the user cube writer you need that number way more than the root id i did that next what i am going to do the podman have the registries registries configuration under etc containers so i go here and open the file for you So look at the file podman by default searching for registries uh, to pull the container so i'm going to remove this red hat uh, red hat.com and all i just want to use docker.io all right i have only docker.io so when i run the podman it look for only the docker.io this is it this is the configuration install and configuration from the root now i am going to the rootless mode and the id is cube writer cube writer is the rootless id here okay so now what i am going to do i am going to pull a simple container podman pull tomcat container see it gets to the it gets to the docker.io and pulling the container without Docker install in the system. 
and pod bin stores container under the home directory of the user. So let me go here, cd.local, cd share. You can see containers here. This is where podman storing containers. When you run them at the rootless mode, you can see all those overlay images and everything here. Now going back to the home directory, I can type podman images. You can see the container pulled here. Uh, just we pulled it. I am going to run the container using podman run command. Podman run minus dt. I run at the background and put the image ID. You can see the status podman ps. The container came up nine seconds ago. Now you want to stop the container, podman stop and use the container ID, it will stop. This is it. We can do podman RMI. I use force because sometimes the RMI is not working here. So I'm going to use the force and use the image ID. Remove it. Take podman images. Image count. So we can run containers without docker in any environment podman has its disadvantages too you know it, it is not a perfect solution but eventually right the, the type of uh, initiatives will progress in the industry in the coming days let me show you some of the limitations of podman in my powerpoint podman limitations it is linux just linux no windows support here so if you have a requirement to have windows os based containers Podman is not the solution currently. And there is no Docker Compose equivalent at Podman. You want to spin multiple containers? No, there is no way to do it. And it's a new product. It has its bugs and minimum features. It will improve in the coming days. Uh, it also has compatibility issues with root containers. Some root containers you know, have a C group and uh, they explicitly mention volumes in the Docker file. So if you get to use those type of containers, you have to modify them and rebuild them. That may pose some challenges uh, with the release management process. And uh, there is no clear definition for builder and podman container build features because builder came first. So at some point, we get good clarity about these features. So overall, uh, the industry wants something other than Docker, right? Docker uh, is, the, is here for almost uh, eight, nine years and uh, they want some changes. Hopefully you can download Podman and uh, start seeing a different angle of uh, container, manage container management. Thank you for watching.